Sonoff are too kind. Their lovely people have sent me another package of goodies, including a couple more unreleased devices, which I can't say too much about, but they've definitely gone for a water theme. The first thing in here is a Zigbee temperature and humidity sensor for my study. Up next, we have this thing, which is essentially a smart plug, but for USB devices. I was so excited when I saw that someone sells something like this, as I've been waiting for someone to make this for ages, and it turns out they already do, and they make a Zigbee version too, which I have here. Up next, we have those unreleased devices. So we'll just pop those to one side for now. You can come back over the course of the next week or so to see my individual videos on those. But lastly, we have a few of their human presence sensors, which are once again Zigbee based, and they emit a millimeter wave radar to detect people in the room, even when they're sat almost completely still. I'm excited to give these a try because as I said, they are Zigbee based and they're a lot cheaper than the Arcara FP2s, which I have dotted around downstairs in my house. So these should prove a much more cost-effective way to check for presence around your home. All right, let's take a closer look at one of these products, shall we? Yep, let's start off with those human presence sensors. I'm gonna be putting these upstairs in our bedrooms and my study. I'm already using a combination of door sensors and motion from the cameras that we have up there in order to turn on the lights when we enter a room and to turn them off again shortly after we close the door. The latter automation to turn the lights off is known as wasp in a box, which basically is a principle that says, if you close a door and you don't detect motion inside, then you can be pretty sure that there's no longer somebody inside. Unfortunately, using cameras as the motion sensors for this is not super reliable. So I'm gonna be putting these in place as well and using them to detect whether or not someone is still in the room after you've closed the door and also ultimately turn things off if no one's detected for a while either. As you can see here, we've got all the usual expected bits in the box, a nice magnetic mount so that you can angle the thing in pretty much whatever direction you want, a 3M sticky pad to stick that to the wall. There's also some wall fixings in here to mount that a bit more permanently, the usual instruction manuals and a nice long USB-A to USB-C cable so that you can mount the thing a reasonable distance from its power source as this thing is permanently powered. Millimeter wave radars use just that little bit too much power to be uh, reasonably battery powered. But I actually quite like this because it means I don't have to go around changing as many batteries. So what I'm gonna do now is get the thing plugged in and see how quickly it pairs with Home Assistant. As soon as I plugged it in, it seems to automatically go into pairing mode and there it is, it's now connected. All I have to do is give it a name and choose which room it's in and it's all set up and ready to go. So I guess we better move on to mounting the thing. Okay, here we have a quick demo fitting this thing. I think it's gonna go nicely there. I've already stuck a 3M sticky pad on the back of the mount. I'm giving it a wipe. I also have some cable clips on the side of here still from a previous camera. So we'll be needing the little cable clips that it came with. Plug that in here. Put that up here. And clip it in. Oh, perfect. So now if I walk into my master bedroom, you will see that it immediately picks up the fact that I am now in the room. And if I close the door and leave, it will go back to clear. And now we can take a look at the options it has. So it does have a light sensor, which just shows you whether it's light or dark with not much configurability there. You can see the occupancy sensor history there. You've got low, medium and high sensitivity settings. And you've got a present sensor timeout setting, which is a minimum of 15 seconds, annoyingly. But I do find that it does actually take longer than that in most scenarios to actually time out presence after I've left the room. And I think part of this is they are incredibly sensitive. I have three tiny rooms upstairs in my house and they're pretty much right next to each other. And I've found that they seem to detect me sometimes if I don't have the sensors at quite the right angle or if the doors are open, it can actually pick me up from an adjacent room. 
And this is where the wasp in a box premise comes in that I mentioned earlier. The idea is that if you put a wasp in a box and close the lid, you know it's still in there because the lid has stayed closed the entire time. So the idea translates to a room when if you close the door, if motion is then detected, the lights can stay on. But if no motion is detected for a certain amount of time, you can turn them off. And so with these sensors being super sensitive, instead of turning on the lights when presence is detected, I turn them on when the door is opened because somebody's definitely entering the room then. And I turn them off when the door is closed and there is no motion after the timeout and a little bit extra. So given that I was already using the wasp in a box principle with cameras and door sensors, all I've had to do is change which sensor it checks and slightly tweak the timeout at which it checks because the cameras timed out actually quicker on average than these. So I had a little bit of extra time. I check for whether or not there is presence detected inside after about a minute now and everything gets shut down automatically. The big advantage here is that it's more reliable when I close the door and everything shuts down and it's much more reliable when I'm sat inside because it is not going to turn the lights off on me because they are so, so sensitive. If you want to pick one of these up, you can get them over on my website. The link will be on there. And remember, home is where the smart is.